Hello everybody, Rob here from Average Hobby, and today we're going to be doing an unboxing slash assembling slash painting review of the Tau Pathfinder team. That's right, the Tau Pathfinder team. So a little bit of behind the scenes as to what they are with the new 10th rules and all that stuff. Here we go. Here's the index card for the Tau Pathfinder team. So it's 120 points for the team. Movement of seven inches, toughness of three, save of four, one wound, <laughs> seven leadership, and objective control of one. So you can get the drone burst cannon, which is the recon drone, some ion rifles, pulse carbines, pulse pistols, rifles, grenade launchers, and some other stuff. How long am I going to be building this out? So there are several options. First is the leader of the squad. You get one of three picks. You either get the grav uh, inhibitor drone, the Pulse Accelerator Drone, or the Recon Drone. We're going with the Recon Drone. I'm just going to go back real quick, because the Recon Drone gives us the ability to get the Burst Cannon. Obviously, we want the Burst Cannon. Um, because I'm going to be going with Rail Guns, I'm not going to be carrying many Pulse Carbines. So we'll not worry too much about that. And then Grab Inhibitor, we're not too worried, because the plan is to keep these guys far away from the front and we don't want them getting charged so I'm not too worried about getting them the inhibitor drone. Uh, with that in mind as I said uh, we have three options for three people with pulse carbines we can either get, we can pick them we can give them you know an ion rifle or a rail rifle we're going with the rail rifle and then also on top of that we can do some we can replace someone's uh, pulse carbine as well with an automatic grenade launcher which obviously we're going to do and then last but not least, we get two. We get either uh, we get a, grunt dr a gun drone, marker drone, or shield drone. With the new 10th edition rules, I'm not worried about giving it a marker drone because we already have the marker light um, indicator. So what we're going to be doing is going with shield drone. Um, two of them, actually, I think. And um, that should give me two additional saves. So that'll be interesting. Um, or I might be going with a gun drone and a marker drone. Not 100% sure yet. I'm still trying to touch up with the way the rules work. I don't know if I need to take marker drones anymore uh, with the way the new 10th edition works. From what I've been told, these are more just like tokens and they just kind of tell you what happens. So you get to basically bleed off two shield drones on an attack because two of your guys will be getting a better save. I, that's what I think the way the new 10th works. Um, or I'll be doing a marker and a gun or two gun drones. I don't know. I gotta figure that part out. Um, yeah, so that is how we're gonna do it. So what we're gonna do now, we're going to open the box and we are going to take a look to see what's in it. Nice little, oh, nice little box right there. Very nice, very nice. And we're gonna fight with the box here. To... Thank you. There we go. We got our bases. We got our drone parts there. Looks like mostly troops there got the legs one two three four five six oh, there's the other four there we got the bases for our drones so we have three drones over there then we have the awesome huge drone which obviously we're gonna be building um and the other four people as well the other drone stuff um I'm still not 100% sure how I'm going to obviously build these out. Um, even though I've said kind of how I want to build them out, I don't know if that's exactly how I'm going to do it. Um, I mean, I can take three rifles if I wanted to, rail rifles, and just have them sitting there sniping from the edges of the map. Um, or I can have them take pulse rifles and just kind of take, you know, pot shots at people. I don't know yet. I think we're going to go with rail rifles, though, just because... <laughs> why not? Um... Don't know how often I'll actually use these guys, but it'll be interesting nonetheless to uh, to run them and have some fun. With that in mind, I will put a cut in here, and we will. Oh, and before I actually finish, um, the reason why I have the paints here, this is actually the color scheme I'm going to use. So I'm going to prime them initially in black, 
Then we're going to go to a gray for the zenithal at a 45 degree angle. And then directly from above, so right above from the model, I'm going to go with a white, uh, a white primer. Then what I'm going to do is use the new Glittering Gold Speed Paint 2.0 on the gold parts. And I'm going to use Polished Silver on the metal parts. So we're just going to come over here real quick. So any part that's actually metallic, I'm actually going to use uh, the silver. And then anything that's gold, like the little nubbins there on the guns, um, they're going to get the nice gold there. Then around the faces, what I'm going to do is hit them with some Ultramarines blue. And then do a highlight of the Ethermatic blue. Um, the reason why the red and the black are there is because with the original, with the final priming of white, I'm going to do a splatter, uh, a splatter effect on them. So it kind of looks like almost like a digital camo is going to be the plan. Uh, with the metallics, I'm going to hit them with a Nuln oil as well, just to make them kind of pop a little bit better. Um, I've done a little test for said splatter pattern, but I don't think it's going to come through all that great. Um, these are on three different shades of green, actually. It's a light green, a dark green, and then a brown green, uh, which I decided I don't think is a good idea. I figure using the white primer with the black and the red should be enough of a color contrast. Um, I'm going to be doing one more paint test tonight with the red and the black. So if we get back into the, uh, the video and they've been painted completely differently, that's why. The, my test failed. <laughs> so with that in mind, we're going to put a cut in here, and we'll be back with these guys all put together. Hello, everybody. <clears throat> Welcome back. Uh, for you, it was just a couple seconds, but for me, it was about two hours. So in the last two hours, I have put these guys all together. And, uh, yeah, um, to be honest, it was pretty quick and easy to put them together. Um, I have to admit, I really do like this drone. It is ridiculous. Very nicely detailed. Um, I just primed them now initially in black. Um, and I was I got them done so fast and so quick that I actually did not know. Um, I didn't actually know or realize that I did not. that I did not uh, record them actually in their gray normal plastic. And I have to admit, I really like these models. Um, there's no grenade launcher, uh, funny enough, um, in, the, uh, in the box. So that's a thing. This is the, I think the, the grav, drone it's very nice uh, but yeah um, one thing I do want to mention to a lot of people um, always let your primer go for 24 hours don't just prime your models wait 15 20 minutes 30 minutes don't use a don't use a, a hairbrush let the actual chemical itself do its uh, do its bonding with the plastic um, yeah so what I'm going to do next I'll show you with the big drone here, I'm going to hit it from 45 degree angles all the way around um, with gray. And then once that's done, I'm going to hit it from the top with white. And then I'll do my splattering of black and my splattering of red. And yeah, there we go. So overall, putting them together wasn't too bad. It wasn't too hard. Uh, my main issue was near the end. Some of the weapons and the guns were kind of in a weird order. Um, the guns and the hands, so the guns for all of them come across, and then every every person grabs their gun at the bottom, which isn't too bad. But my big issue is they were all almost the same, which is I understand, you know, mass-produced troops you know blah 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 but yeah, I did not like 
of just a few few things, and, it, and it's nothing that like really sticks out. Um, it's super easy to put together. No backpacks except for the one guy, um, the person in charge. Um, other than that, yeah, it was good putting them together. Um, instructions were pretty easy. Um, like I said, I did have some issues with the guns with the instructions, where some of the hands didn't feel like they mixed right, or they didn't show them right. Um, especially with the images on the back here, on the back of the box, didn't quite match up with some of these. Um, now I understand, yeah, I did three guys with rail guns, um, but yeah, like I said, there's no, there was no grenade launcher, which kind of caught me off guard. So, yeah, so I we went with the three drones there, the grav drone, the shield drone, and the recon, I think it's the recon drone, um, overall. Good, so in the next uh, part of the episode, you will see them all painted up, hopefully, in their black, red, and white, um, quote-unquote, camo pattern. If it's going to work or not, we'll see. If it doesn't work, yeah, um, but yeah, I'll priming them with gray, then white, and then hitting them with the, uh, with the red and the black, and then the metallics. That mine. Thanks for watching. I'll see you after the next fade to black, and we get the uh, get the painted models. And we're back. So here we go. So everyone has been painted up. Um, I want to point out a few things. Number one is this guy turned orange. Um, it's other, let me turn the other light on here. Um, it's a little unfortunate he turned orange. Um, that's my bad. I used. I uh, should have tested it the wash first. I tested it properly the cleaner, but I was trying to go for more of a, a, a digital camo pattern with a little bit of like grimy dirtiness. Unfortunately, the one shader that I used, uh, the I think it's um, Ivrax Earth Shade. Earth Shade. Earth is brown. Brown and red make orange. <laughs> so yeah. Um, overall, I do like. How these turned out. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, camera doesn't want to focus. There we go. So, yeah, they turned out pretty good. That still didn't focus all that great. Um, what I used was Blood Angels Red and Black Templar. I put the airbrush all the way down pressure wise and just let it kind of spray out. And it painted the spray them pretty, pretty darn good. Come on, focus, please. Oh, come on. Okay, well, I have some news about a camera too. So I will be modifying my camera setup. Um, I do have access to a 4K camera. So we'll be switching this up and hopefully no longer we will have blurriness. Um, but, yeah, so I used... Uh, uh, it was Blood Angels Red, as I used for the original uh, guys, and Black Templar, and just really low setting, so it was kind of just kind of spitting out in uh, the airbrush instead of a proper misting. So, turned out pretty good. Uh, then I just painted their hands up in some leather, painted their feet, um, and then the guns are done it with the, uh, oh, I put it away, um, the new Army Painter Speed Paint I did in silver and gold, and it turned out, turned out pretty, pretty darn good, I want to say. Um, I'm pretty happy with, actually, can I turn on this light over here? Yeah, they turned out pretty pretty darn good. Pretty happy with the way they, they look. Now they're obviously the more, in my opinion, more elite unit. So I'll be using them. So I painted them up more elite-y. Um, but yeah, they, I think they do pretty good. Overall, I want to say, um, the models went together good. Um, with the options that you get to build versus what you get in the box are not the same. So for example, um, one of your characters gets a grenade launcher. There is no grenade launcher in the box. Um, number two, you can take more than one uh, shield drone. 
but only one comes in the box. Um, I can't remember what the other one was. There was one other thing that I was kind of like meh about. Um, I honestly don't remember. Uh, but yeah, overall, thumbs up. Good model kit to put together. I liked it, it felt good, it looks good. Um, I'll be putting it with the rest of my army and in the next video, hopefully, fingers crossed, um, the new camera setup of going, the new 4K, uh, better, not crappy, everything's kinda blurry camera. <laughs> that mind, thanks for watching, really appreciate, appreciate you. Could've been watching anything, but you, uh, you know, you end up watching this, so thank you oh so very much. And I'll see you in the next unboxing and uh, review video. Um, I'll give you a hint. It starts with an L and it ends with a Viathan. Let's take a sip of my coffee there. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.